Hello from Chicago. Hi, Chicago. I could really use your help. I have a Raypack RP2100 R265A EN unit. I know what that is because it's I researched heaters. It's a 210,000 BTU heater, okay. All the time. No, it's a Raypack 266, oh, actually, a 266. with a 265, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The design in this unit is bad because my control panel always gets condensation and then the board starts to fail. Okay, is this indoor or outdoor? If it's indoor, your venting is bad. If it's outdoor, could be something else. I understand that the control board part number is obsolete. I noticed in your article from August 12th of 2016, you reference a replacement board that is compatible with my unit. Could we tell you the part number? Um, Google can tell you the part number. Also because of the control panel with the switch decal has been changed with the model, it now includes a flap. Would the new control panel with the flap and circuit board fit my older unit? Okay, so first you should start with the condensation. Why are you getting that? If a heater doesn't have adequate gas flow and it doesn't fire hot enough, it will create condensation inside, the heater. inside of the heater and that could come out to the control panel in theory. If this is indoor or if you just have bad airflow outdoor, that could happen. So yeah, something else is causing condensation in a board. So I'd start there. I would tend to agree. That is a very similar heater to what I have on my swimming pool. Yeah. And what I have noticed is, again, part of that same board, that control board, is where the on-off switch is. And my on-off switch sticks like crazy, which indicates mm. there's probably condensation building up in there. Yeah. I have a, I suspect, I have a suspicion that it's inherent in the heater somehow. Mm. And I've never... You know, I I piece mine together and I keep it working and whatever. And I don't think that there's a direct fix for this particular problem. Mm. Don't know for sure. I'm, I'm spitballing here because it's the same heater that I have. And uh, I think that uh, likely it's just something that you replace the board whenever you have to replace the board. And you don't worry about fixing the problem. You replace the board and, until you need to replace the board again. Okay. Or you replace the heater. Yeah. All right, hope that's helpful.